truly excited to actually talk with you all about quantum chemistry or i'll say quantum mechanics and in here we're going to dive more into hermitian or Prater on our previous video and seeing how we can build on what we understood from that where we actually looked at two variable in terms of their understandings one in terms of the understanding is looking at i would say the operator that is acting on a function that results in the spitting out of an eigenvalue which is actually the observable that is a nice representation of the classical mechanics linked to the quantum mechanical variable in here which is the capital letter a operator and this is actually in collaboration i would say with the expectation value where this is actually with respect to the integration of i would say a complex conjugate wave function where this particular function is actually i would say a well-behaved function and this is included in terms of also the operator and this operator is now acting as well on another function that is well behaved and this is done in all i would say space now building on that we're able I, to actually conclude that for a to actually be not an operator but an hermitian operator this has to actually have restrictions and these restrictions is applicable to a situation where we have this particular formula being established and obeyed where we have f being a well-behaved function that is a conjugate complex wave function and this is going to be added or applied to this particular operator which is a and we have another wave behave function in all space and this is also equal to i would say the other way around but in this case our complex conjugate is applied to both a i would say and the f so now we know this particular part here and giving us a much detailed understanding of physical quantities that is actually well explained in a quantum realm by defining RA to be a Hamiltonian operator then we can actually build on this and look at in this video a specific I would say physical quantity and dive more into how we can be able to extract or make this particular operator which is i would say the physical quantity to be true when it's actually moving away from classical mechanics in terms of its observables into quantum mechanics so in this video we'll go to look at specifically i would say our operator or prove that this operator is actually i would say a Hermitian operator and an example of this is just looking at e in terms of the one I would say coordinate which is an x coordinate this is actually going to be a representation of well if you can recognize this that will be incredible but let me just say it this is actually the momentum operator right here and this is going to be included in let's say one particular well-behaved function where g at x is equals to x plus 1 over e to the x squared and another i would say well-behaved function is f at x to be equal to 1 over x squared plus 1 so when we know this let's just take note here that in here this h bar is actually equals to the Planck constant divided by 2 pi and what else do we need to know well that is pretty much all what we need to know now let's look at how we can be able to express these particular terms here now in terms of this particular formula right there and to do that all we just need to do is just to substitute and also change the coordinates or i would say the description of our integration in terms of the range and in here what we realize is that when we dive into this then this here is looking at it in terms of going from negative infinity to positive infinity and what that results in is that 
rf now is actually 1 over x squared plus 1 and take note in here that we are not including the conjugates in here and i will tell you the reason why when i'm trying to put after i've put all the variables in there substituted for each other and now what that results now is that our a now is actually the what momentum operator and this momentum operator i'll put it in the bracket here is negative i the Planck constant relative to the derivative of what the g at x which is actually expressed let me make this bracket more sharp here to be x here plus one divided by e to the x squared and in here it's actually with respect to x so since it's with respect to x then this is here in total for integration to be with respect to x for its coordinates and now this here must be equal to this other side right here and which is going to be written as this so our integration is actually done in the same scale which is from negative infinity to positive infinity and this time now rg is actually outside and is not affected in here by the co complex conjugates and what we have for g is x plus 1 divided by e to the x squared and this is multiplied by the inside here which is now our operator which is i with the Planck constant and this is our partial derivative with respect to x where our f now is included now as this and this is now the complex conjugates which is actually indicated right there but take note that it's not indicated in the left side of the equation and this is now with respect to dx now take note why did i say this the reason why i'm indic i'm not indicating the complex conjugate on the i would say left side is because the f conjugate doesn't actually have i in here so since there is no i then we cannot apply the complex conjugate in this particular position right here however in here which is this location we're able to apply the complex conjugate because our operator here has i present so therefore we can be able to actually evaluate the both sides and therefore actually proving that this r operator here a is actually truly a hamilton operator and this hamilton operator will actually make us to get i would say eigenvalues like for example observables like a or and the expectation values to be real numbers and also this will actually truly explain this i would say physical quantity which is momentum going from the classical mechanics over to quantum mechanics so that is about it for this particular video please hit the comment down below let me hear your thought about this and many more but that way i can talk to you later stay smart and believe in yourselves